it's my turn. It's your turn. It's show time. <laughs> Sorry. So cheesy. Hi, I'm Stacy. We've got some supersets today. Upper body. And then we are going to finish with three minutes of core. So a nice little core finisher. Upper body is the focus. I love supersets. If you've worked out with me before, you probably know that. They're so efficient. We're going to hit two moves back to back to back. So we really use our time well because as you're hitting move number one, muscle group from move number two is resting and vice versa. You get it, right? Okay, go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. It's a great way to support me. And check out my four week program on fitnessmomness.com if you have not checked that out yet. Is this music a little loud? Might be a little loud, I don't know. I never know. That went too quiet. Okay, let's get warmed up to start. Um, let's get the upper body warmed up. I just want some big arm circles back. If you've been with me for a little while here, you may have noticed I'm giving you a warm up and a cool down now with every workout. I just want it to be a one stop shop for you. All right, other direction. So I've got you covered. Always a short little cool down and stretch at the end to safely bring that heart rate down. All right, give me a reach, corner to corner. And take that reach up. All right, step it wide, reach side to side, rib cage shift. We'll get that lower body warm as well. And take it to a little crunch dip. One elbow and then the other. Plie squat, star reach down, up. And if you want to come to your toes here, you can. Woo. It's your time, show time. Two, one. Bring it in for a squat. And hold it down, pop the heel, twist, twist. I'm feeling pretty warm. Are you warm? Three, two, one. Let's get started. Quick, short and sweet warm up. All right, we have two moves. We have a seesaw bicep curl. So that just means they're gonna meet in the middle, curling one at a time, and then they pass in the middle. All right, so right here. Then we have a tricep kick out. Um, so you want to kind of angle, step into a lunge, get that elbow nice and high, hand at the hip. You kick it out, lower slowly with that straight arm. Bring it back to the hip. Kick it out, lower slowly. Burn so good. Different weight for these moves. Biceps are a larger muscle group. So I'm gonna go 15 and then all the way down to eight. Adjust as needed. You do not have to do exactly what I do. Um, I just give you that reference. So this first set of dumbbells is almost twice as heavy as the one I'm gonna use for triceps. All right, are you ready? Three sets, back to back. Palms up for that bicep curl. Feet hip width apart or a little bit wider. Soft bend in that knee. Core is engaged, ready? Curl, one, and then let's pass in the middle. Switch. Now, make sure you reach that full extension at the bottom. Arm is coming all the way down. It's slow and controlled. You got it. Four. Three. One more each. All right. It should be heavy enough that it's hard right away. This is strength, not endurance. So we're not going for tired. I don't want you to do rep after rep after rep and then eventually you feel tired. I want it to be hard. That that last few reps, you're pushing, it's hard. All right, kick out, slow lower. Hand at the hip, kick it out, hold it straight as you lower. Come back to the hip, kick it out, lower. Kick it out, lower. You can always give me a little head bop to the music. 
in my in-person class, I can see, not a lot of people take me up on that, but you know, I can't see you. So I'm just gonna assume you're just having a great time bopping your head to the music. Ooh, three, two, should be hard, one. Other side, right into it. Hand at the hip, ready? Kick it out, slow lower. Spread the love, spread the love. Come on, are you feeling challenged? I mean, this is only set one, <laughs> but we wanna feel challenged. Two, one, right into the bicep curl, seesaw style, so they pass in the middle. Ready, deep breath in, exhale, let's go. Keep it going. Reaching that full extension at the bottom. Focusing on your bicep. Squeeze, squeeze every time. You got it. Four. Oh. Two. You got it. One. Oh, set it down. Tricep kick out, slow lower. Ready? Hand at the hip. Let's go. Kick it out, lower. We're moving fluidly, but it's slow and controlled. Four more. You got it. Two, one, switch it out. Let's go, ready? Kick it out. Always adjust as needed. If the first weight you choose doesn't feel like the best option, you need to go a little heavier, a little lighter, make that adjustment. You can adjust the reps as well. Three, two, one. Right into those curls, but guess what? Round three. So we finish these moves and we're done forever for today. Are you ready? Inhale, exhale. All the way down. This is our last time here. Give it all you've got. It's our nice, strong hit to the biceps for today. Three. Two. One. Ah, done with those. Give me that kick out, round three. Elbow high, let's go. Lower. Use your breath. Mm. Come on, last time on this side. Two. One. Finish with the other side. Let's go. Seven more. You get a rest after this before we go on to the next superset. And guess what? There are only three supersets. That's it. Two, come on, one, oh, set it down, grab some water, rest for just a minute. All right, we are gonna take a minute rest. Like I said, there's just three supersets. Yes, we have two moves in each superset. Yes, there are three rounds. 
you're getting a fantastic workout, but just whatever helps your brain. It helps me. Okay, three supersets. One's already done. We have two left. Heck yeah, we are moving right along. All right, while you're resting, let me show you what's coming. We have a double row. So chair squat, nice bend, hinging at the hips. So you have a nice straight line from head to tailbone. We row, palms in, narrow, hug the body. Then rotate your palms back, take it wide. So narrow, wide. Then we have a bent side raise kick out. This is where, again, you're gonna want lighter weights. You raise, kick it out, in, and lower. You're gonna love to hate that one. <laughs> okay, so heavy set, light set. Starting with the heavy set. I'm gonna use the same thing I used for biceps. Are you ready? Hydrated up, rested, ready to go. All right, we're starting with that row. Chair squat, hinge, start with that narrow row. Ready, inhale, let's go, exhale. Rotate palms, wide, narrow, wide. Nice, neutral neck. You got it. You exhale on the rise as you pull those weights up. Two more each. Mm, one. Remember, it should be hard. Whew, set them down. Lighter weights, right into it. So, palms are in. 90 degree bend right here. Raise up to about shoulder height. Let's go, up, kick it out, in. Ooh, shoulders right away. You got it. Four. Two. One. Whoo, set them down. Right into that row combo. Are you ready? Nice little hinge, neutral neck, let's go. Narrow, rotate the palms, wide, narrow. Oh my goodness, feeling it so fast on this one. That's what we want, we want it hard. Now, you don't have to complete the same amount of reps I complete. If you max out before me, that's fine. When you reach that max out, you can stop. I'm gonna go for three more. Two. One. Oh, set it down. Bent side raise kick out. I knew I would love to hate this one. I'm already dreading it. Round two, let's go. 90 degrees, palms in. Take it up. Made my house nice and cool. It's not helping. So sweaty. <laughs> All right, let's aim for four more. <clears throat> Soft bend in those knees. Two. One. Two, down, one to go. Always get an extra little mental boost on that third round. Like, okay, round three, last time through, we got this. All right, narrow row, let's go. Narrow, wide, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Come on, nice neutral neck, three. Two. 
two. One. Oh. Set them down. Bent side raise. Kick out. Last time. Give it all you've got. Rest is coming. Ready. Exhale. You got this. Adjust as needed. Adjust the weight. Adjust the reps. Do what feels like a great challenge for you today. And it's hard, but you've got it. Three. Oh, we're so close to that rest. Two. One. Oh. Set them down. Take a little rest. Now I'm gonna go a little heavier than our shoulder and tricep weight for one of the moves in the next one. You only need one weight. I'm not gonna waste my energy on the demo, <laughs> but your palm is up. We're gonna work the chest, raise to the front and across. We'll hit one side first, then the other. Then we have an alternating Arnold drop. I'm gonna start same weight as the biceps, but I might adjust down. So we're gonna, this is our Arnold press. Your palms are in, you rotate as you press. We're just gonna reverse it so that one arm gets an isolated hold while we hit that press. So you drop and rotate and then hit the other. So we're gonna alternate, all right? So I'm starting with the same weight, the heavy and the light option. No, no, no. The heavy option from the first two, 15 pounds for me. I might adjust down pretty quickly, we'll see. And then um, for chest, I'm going just a little bit above that tricep and shoulder weight. I had eight pounds, I'm gonna try 10. See how it feels. All right, so soft bend in that elbow, just like this. You don't wanna lock it out. Nice little soft bend, palm is up, and we're going across. Ready, inhale, exhale. You wanna control on the way down. That muscle wants, uh, that uh, weight wants to drag you down, but don't let momentum carry you. Muscle, not momentum. Five more. Last two this side. One, switch it out. Same thing, let's go. Cross, lower with control. So this, is superset three. It's our final one. We do have that core finisher, but that core finisher is just three minutes. Not bad at all, right? Five to go. Two. One. All right, Arnold drop rather than Arnold press. Adjust those weights if you need to. I'm gonna see how it feels. So we're starting at the top. Core is engaged, soft bend in the knees. Ready, let's go, drop and press. So palm comes in, back out. Oh yeah. Ooh. You got it. Adjust if you need to. Give me two more each side. Last one. You got it. Oh, set them down. Right into that cross front raise. Palm up. Let's go. Try to start with the same side you started with the first time. We'll continue this pattern. <sighs> Can you give me five more? Adjust as needed. Three. Two. 
One, right into that other side, palm up, soft bend in the elbow. Inhale, exhale. You got this. Four more. Three. Two. One. Arnold drop. Let's do this. Right into it. You ready? Come up safely. So palms hug the body. You come up, flip the wrists, extend, start here. Alternating drop. Let's go. Oh, it's hard. That's good. That's what we want. Mm. We're tearing down the muscle. We can build it back up even stronger. Oh. Two more each side if you got it. What do you have left in your tank? You got one more each? Last one. Oh, holy moly. Ah, one round to go. Round three. All right, same side you started with. Last two times. Ready? Let's go. When I'm quiet, <laughs> you know it's hard. I'm feeling it. I am right there with you. I'm so sweaty and so challenged. Three, two, one. Switch it out. It feels so good to challenge ourselves, though, doesn't it? Let's go. It's hard. We're challenging ourselves, but we're getting stronger mentally and physically. Every time you complete something hard physically, your mind gets a little stronger, too, because it's like, yeah, that was hard, and I did it. <laughs> Five more. Three. Final move of the final superset. Not final move. One. Oh, we have the Arnold drop, sorry. But we're done with those, yay. This is it right here. Then we move to that core finisher. All right, come up safely. Bring them up, extend. You got it. If it's less reps, that's okay. Give me what you got. Let's go. Drop, press. That isolated hold we get. Oh, it amps this up so much. Can you do two more each? Last one each. Oh my goodness. Oh, could you see me shaking? <sighs> I'm shaking. I promise I am challenged right there with you. On Instagram, I get comments a lot. Oh, you're smiling. You make it look so easy. I'm like, yeah, on Instagram, that's a demo. I'll film several Instagram posts back to back. That's a demo. This full workout right there with you and it's hard. All right, come down to the mat. Well, let me show you some options. So we have mountain climbers, one minute. You are either here or if that bothers your wrists, you can elevate on a chair or even the wall and do the same thing. All right, that's move one. Move two, crunch, heel, reach. We're on our back. You crunch and then you reach for one heel. Crunch, other heel. You can sit in a chair. <laughs> I don't have a chair nearby. Crunch, heel, reach, crunch. So you don't have to come down to the mat for those two. And then you can skip the last one if you don't wanna come to the mat. We just have alternating leg drop. So you drop one, challenge your lower abdominals, lift it back up, drop the other. Three moves. One minute each, 
Let me pull my timer up. All right, that's a timer, not a stopwatch. Okay, one minute. Are you ready? Mountain climbers, let's go. Palms on the floor, on a chair, on a table, on a wall. You choose what works for you. This is our core finisher. One minute each move, three moves. You got it. Keep breathing, in and out. Keep going, I just gotta check. Okay, we are now halfway there. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. Oh, shoulders are challenged because we just murdered them with that superset. Oh my goodness. Keep it going. You get a rest after this. Keep going. We have 19 seconds left. Was that the lowest, a slowest 10 seconds or what? Oh, come on. We got this. Push yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Child's pose if you want. We're gonna move to our next core move. Dance it out. All right, either lying on your back or sitting in that chair. Are you ready? Crunch, heel reach. One minute. Let's go. Crunch, heel reach. Other side. Get those shoulder blades up. If you're down on the mat, lift those shoulder blades off the mat. If you're in a chair, engage those abdominals <clears throat> as you lean forward into that crunch. <clears throat> Keep breathing. Let me see. Oh, 20 seconds. This one goes a little faster than those mountain climbers, in my opinion. <clears throat> 10 seconds. You got this. One more move after this. Give it all you've got. <clears throat> and time. Oh, good work. All right. Last move single leg drops. Are you ready? Let's go. Drop one and then lift it up. Option, hands under the booty if you want for a little low back support. Drop, lift. I want you breathing the whole time. Inhale and exhale. Oh, that's a bad word. Keep going. Apologize. Did not know that had a bad word in it. Just pretend you didn't even notice. You probably didn't notice. What did I do? Call attention to it. Ow! Let me see. 20 seconds left. I'm just gonna hold my hand up like this and watch the clock. You got this. This is the last 10 seconds of your workout. Be so proud of yourself. You came, you pushed play, you got it done. You worked hard to the end. Two, one. You got it. Hug those knees in. Oh my goodness. All right. Grab behind your legs, rock yourself up. Come all the way to standing. We're gonna stretch it out. Stay and stretch with me. It's gonna bring our heart rate down safely. So good for muscle recovery. All right, shoulder down and across. Feels so good when you're done, doesn't it? Same arm right down the center of your back. Oh, we worked that upper body today. I mean, how efficient are supersets? So much, you squeeze in. All right, other arm down and across. Same arm, right down the center of your back. Press it down. All right, big shoulder roll. Ow. 
and forward. All right, now I want you to use a chair or the wall or whatever you have nearby that you can prop your hands up on. Let me grab something. You can use the wall, but you wouldn't see me very well if I used my wall. So whatever you have nearby, you can prop your hands up on and then just press your shoulders down. So you can absolutely do this on the wall. I just wanted to give you that profile view so you could see pressing the shoulders down. Now take one arm, reach. You don't have to touch the floor, but reach. Switch it out. All right. Big arm circles. Back. And forward. Big circles. So proud of you. Thanks for working out with me today. Give me a couple of deep breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Way to go. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Check out my website, fitnessmomness.com. I've got some blogs. I've got some discounts. And I've got a four-week fitness program that might be exactly what you're looking for if you don't know how to piece together your workouts and structure it all together week to week.